Uh, congratulations on the show, guys. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying the show. Season two. Uh, I feel like I feel like now I know what Ron Burgundy was talking about when he said he was in a glass case of emotion, because honestly, there's an absolute cavalcade of things going on in this show. Uh, does anything surprise you anymore? Is there anything that, that M. Night and, the, and everyone else, Tony and everyone that give you with the scripts and everything, does anything surprise you now or are you just kind of kind of going with it? Uh, maybe Lauren, I'll start with you. A lot uh, was surprising to me of uh, what I was asked to do this season, um, especially with uh, facing off with Leanne and, and uh, there's sort of a power struggle and a showdown that, that happened. That was new for me, new subject matter and uh, intense. Um, yeah, I sort of, read the scripts like this. Like, oh God, what, what's coming next? <laughs> what, will, what will they ask of us? What horror will they throw at this poor woman? Me being the poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> and Toby, you get the added pressure of having to cook as well and look like you know what you're doing. Do you know what you're doing? Have you been to like Gordon Ramsay's cooking school or something? To... <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't been shouted at and sworn at. Uh, <laughs> um, although I'd happily do it, I'd happily cook with Gordon Ramsay. Um, he's a great chef. <laughs> oh, she's a sweet lady. Yeah, we're all actually really good. Lauren's a phenomenal cook. We had a couple of really, really lovely family meals while we were in quarantine because we shot four episodes in the uh, during the pandemic. You know, we had a six month break while they figured out how we could get back, and we were very lucky that the show would work that way. Um, which in itself was a shock that we managed to get back because, you know, I know all of my friends are started shows, started films, and they've all got cancelled or postponed or, you know, pushed back. And so, yeah, we were very lucky to be at work. But, yeah, I mean, the transition was a shock for me that I suddenly became part of the believer, you know, finding, you know, searching for the truth in my own way because the transition of, you know, living with a doll to the transition of where's the baby we got we you know we've decided we'll keep this baby whether it's stolen in these all horrific ways that we've made these rationales we're like yeah all right we'll keep the stolen baby is it a stolen baby is it the baby what, what's what's happened we don't know and then the baby goes so yeah it's it's all still shocking but we 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 go with it and thank god for the great actors we do it with you know yeah and Lauren already announced season three. Uh, how excited are you to, to go back and see see where this goes? Yeah, again, I feel uh, incredibly grateful to be one of the few actors I know who is able to uh, work and who was able to work in this year um, and to you know continue that feels like a blessing. So absolutely. Grateful. And Toby, this is very quick for you. I spoke to you a couple of years ago about your your stint as Doctor Doom. All these old Marvel villains are now coming back. If if Kevin Feige gives you a call, despite your experiences, I mean, would you would you be able to turn him down or are you kind of done with that now? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't be able to turn him down. I don't think after my performance he will be calling me, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I uh, Hey, there's talk of Clooney going back as Batman, so anything's possible. It's anything is possible. Let's, you know, let's all play <laughs> together that that doesn't occur. Um, I think Dr. Doom is is such a great character. You know, I, I really felt it at the time, you know, but th that's the thing, you know, you think after fantastic performances like Heath gave of the Joker, you think, you know, no one's going to do that. It was so good. And we all thought that after Jack Nicholson did it. And, you know, and it, it changes, doesn't it? It just, there's, there's excellence out there in so many different ways. And there's such good, rich characters. I mean, Doom is... He's massive. He kills Thor, you know, if you read the comics, if you're a boring dork like me. So, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it would be great. It would be great. Marvel's so much better than than people who borrowed the franchise and made it themselves. And now that's all under one roof, um, like Toys R Us. It's, uh, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great to get a call like that. But I doubt yeah. I'll get it. Hey, so. maybe he will kill Thor. Who knows? He's still going, isn't he? <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure. Good luck with season three and thank season two. You thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!